Hey guys, it's Miss Sapika. Um, I'm here with our story for Tuesday, May 19th. Um, this one is called Punk the Skunk Learns to Say Sorry. I hope you like it. Here we go. Punk the Skunk Learns to Say Sorry. Punk the skunk liked to tease. Normally, his teasing was harmless. But today was not a normal day. On this not normal day, Punk did some not harmless teasing. It started at recess. While playing jump rope, Punk... snatched the rope and ran off. His best friends, Rudy the Rabbit and Quilliam the Porcupine, it's a hard name to say, joined him laughing. Punk wanted to make his friends laugh again. During a test, Punk blew spitballs at the back of Skit the Squirrel's head. He didn't stop there. At lunch, Punk tripped Klutz the cat who landed in his food. On the car ride home, Punk wanted to have one last laugh. He quietly let out, of his, out some of his super stinky skunk spray and chuckled. Only this time, his friends weren't laughing with him. Roll the window down, Quilliam choked. I can't, it's stuck, Ruby gasped. Better duck, guys, Quilliam yelled. His quills shot around the car like angry little arrows. Punk's friends glared through watery eyes. Oh, come on, guys, it was just a joke, Punk said. The next day, no one wanted to play with Punk at recess. No one sat by him in class. No one ate lunch with him. No, sorry, no one ate with him at lunch. And his friends didn't offer him a ride home. Why are you being like this? I was only kidding around, Punk shouted as they drove away without him. Punk had a long time to think on his lonely walk home. Why is everyone so mad at me? They need to learn to take a joke. He stomped his feet to the beat of his angry thoughts. A heavy weight settled on Punk's shoulders. He couldn't see through his tears. Then... Splat! After helping Tim the turtle flip over, Klutz walked towards Punk. Even though you've been a bit of a bully lately, I know how it feels to trip and fall. Here, let me help you up. Bully? Punk had never considered himself a bully before. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Did I go too far? Maybe my teasing wasn't funny after all. What can I do to make things better? Oh. I have an idea. Do you guys at home have any ideas of what Punk could do to make things better? Let's see if you guessed right. The next day at school, Punk returned the jump rope to the girls and gave Skit a bag of roasted acorns, his favorite. Then Punk offered his lunch to Klutz and said, thanks for showing me how to be a good friend. After that, he gave rose petals to Rudy and Quilliam and handed out apology notes to everyone he had hurt.
I'm sorry I sprayed you. I won't do it again on purpose. But in case it happens again by accident, use the rose petals for protection. I hope we can be friends again. Punk. When everyone looked up from reading their notes, they saw... What do you think they're going to see? Any guesses? Punk and the rose petals sticking out of his nose. When his friends started laughing, Punk knew he had been forgiven. It was the best feeling in the world. And that is the end of the story. So this is some stuff about um, what you can do when you see a bully. You can always tell them to stop, and if they still don't, tell a trusted adult. And you can also try walking away if telling them to stop doesn't work. You can also just ignore them. See if the bully needs a friend. That's kind of hard to do when they're being mean, but sometimes people are mean because they're actually sad. And that's the end of the story. So that was Punk the Skunk Learns to Say Sorry. Um, questions to talk about at home or a question other than the ones in the book. Can you think of another way that Punk could have apologized to his friends? Talk about that at home. And I will see you tomorrow with another story.